kill our coats front and in the middle everywhere clap sing it it's a new Passover mode. I did not enter my car in my house to come to church to do this. Come. Somebody here. There's a thousand Ghana city seed you must plant. Fortunately, the government has helped you. That we are in 2023. In the, the government has favored you to make it useless. And write on it, Passover. Come and pick it. A thousand canvases. You see, some months ago, I told you. I told you. I told you. So what I said has come to pass. What I said has come to pass. Look at you. Look at you. What I said has come to pass. Leave her. I'm surprised to see this woman. 
Leave her. Don't, don't touch her. I'm surprised. Yes. That's all. Leave her. Clap your hands, everyone. Oh. Things are happening that you never dreamt would happen to somebody like you. Give me that trousers again. This one. Professor. Yes. Work it. Work it. Yes. I have put engines into your shoes. People fly. That's not how you will fly. You will go and sit in a machine. And the machine itself flies you. Amen. This is the machine. Amen. This oil. Cover it for me. This is the lubricant. For the engine. Jesus. I'm saying it again. If I am flying, I will flap my wings. The bed. But some people fly by buying a ticket to sit on a plane. They even sleep on the plane. And the machine flies them. Jesus. This is the machine. And this is the oil. That will lubricate that age till you are four times Professor. bigger Professor. than you are today. Jesus. Remember today's day. Professor. You can go and sit down. Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Clap your hands.
Kadabaha. Be seated. Oh, whenever you feel like going, you can go. You can now go. You can now go. Let somebody take it. You will not get to the end and you feel power again. This is the QR code. Leave her. Don't touch her. Leave her to go. Try it and see. It works now? That's on just three questions. Yes. Everybody must do that right now. If you are far and you need it, those at the back, take. Or when you finish, you can take it to the back. Is it working? It's working. Don't worry, your screen will come. Bishop Copy is a very rich pastor. He's the one even sponsoring my church. Yes. Why do you think I'm with him? Association. Yes. 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 Some three questions or so will come. Everybody, if you don't have a smartphone, then use somebody's smartphone and fill it. I'm giving you three minutes. If you don't have a smartphone, because not everybody has it. Do you have a smartphone? Yes. So borrow somebody. Why are you sitting there? As if you don't care. Yeah, find someone. Is it working? This church, today we are gathering money to buy an LED screen. You watch it. Oh, you can't answer. Is that an exam question? Ah, okay. If your option is not there, just write uh, something. Loan more or something. Have you done it? Has she done it? Find somebody who hasn't done it and help this person. Have you done it? Mommy, you've done yours. Go and find somebody who has not done it. With your phone. Yeah. Let's do it. Beautiful. It's not for self you. something nice. Wow. I can't wait. Is it possible? Unless you don't care, but if you care, find somebody's phone. Oh, sorry, I've blocked your view. Uh, some, of the, some of the phones are not good. 
some, some of the phones. So through this, you will know that you are using a useless phone. The, um, what phone? The Android phone. The, some of the Android phones. The, 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 um, this one, the, the Togolese ones. No? You have to download the QR code app before you do it. But everything else. So if you have to go to Play Store and uh, Zoom Store, throw the phone away and use somebody's phone and answer what type of. Uh, today, at this time, I do in Play Store. So, is it the correct phone? What did he buy it for? Techiman. Telefonica. Okay. So, that's a Techiman. Have you done yours? Mommy, have you done yours? You don't even know how to press it. Two more minutes. And uh, what's your name? Steven. What's your name? Benjamin. Okay. Make sure that these QR codes are in redemption service. On the second of April. We are starting a new service. This service is joining redemption service. And the church service will not start at 7.30 anymore. It will start at 9.30 in the morning. 2nd April. Notice it. Notice that date. Notice it. Just notice it in your head. Don't pass by it. Whenever you see that number, 2 April, notice that something is happening on that day. If you come here at 7.30, you are coming for a English service. <laughs> well, those of you also who don't understand English well, yeah. come for the English service. It starts at 7 o'clock. Powerful time. Bishop Kobe Asamoah will be in his elements. Assisted by Major Abba, who will be the um, assistant pastor. Beautiful. The soloist for that service is Uncle D. Hey! What a service. I will be there. Even if you are attend Shine at 9.30, still come for that service. And see singing and ministration. Yes. Talented solo artist. Goodness gracious. So today, just for 15 minutes, I want to, it's, it's not every Sunday that a pastor must preach for 40 minutes. In fact, I shouldn't even preach at all. But I've preached already. I've preached already with signs and wonders. Yes. But, so that you don't say that you have given offering and we didn't open the verse. We didn't, we didn't open the Bible. So, I want to, are these guys taking selfies or they are? Are they scanning? Okay. Beautiful. He's done it? Okay. Those who haven't done it, um, The lady who had a wedding yesterday. Have you done it? You couldn't do it. Oh, help the sister who had, who had a wedding yesterday to do it. Or oh, some the lady, the, the wedding lady. Yeah. Ah. Was it not a wedding yesterday? Hey, why have you dressed like this? What fun, Hopa. Can you please stand up and let us see how you dress? Come, please come, come, come. Come. 
goodness gracious. So you are not going on honeymoon. This is normal Sunday. Normal Sunday. I must give this lady. I, I'm going to launch a book. I'm dashing you one. Give me this book. Give me one. Come. The white one. Who you, you have overcome sadness, sorrow, poverty, NPP, NDC. I'm giving you this. Always dress like this. Beautiful. And let me lay my hands on you. Whatever is in your house will wear a new dress. Your chest, your bed, your stove, your door. Do you have kids? Are they here? Safe church. Lift your two hands. Now let this hand push her to the next level of her life where there will always be celebration in Jesus name receive it now it's a new level it's a new level now go for it go for it leave it give me the oil let me anoint her feet yes you will never be poor from today Seeing and hearing guarantees divine direction. Yes. Everybody needs direction. Certain levels of poverty are a result of the absence of direction. The absence of supplies, things you need that you don't have, is because God is not directing you. Isaiah 48 New Living Translation Today I send you home with divine direction Verse 18 Oh That you had listened to my commands. From today, be a listener of messages. And let every message you hear be a command. Be a what? A command. Don't listen to preaching as if you are listening to music. I should stop the preaching and go. Yeah. All right, then let's let's welcome Frida too. Uh, you sing. No, they don't want you to preach. I should preach. Now, you, but the people don't want me to preach. What should I do? Bishop Kobe. Well, have you told the church something? No. They don't want you to preach in the service. Preach. I should preach. 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 Reverend George, I should preach. preach. Do I have your permission to preach? preach. Yes. Okay. Okay. Then I'm telling you. That from today, don't listen to a message. A what? A 
a message. Se so for a bomb message. Send your me bomb message. In tie ni se wu tie instrumentals. Hello? Don't listen to messages as if you are in your room enjoying music. It will cost you. Very good. I like this. Uh, is it notes you are writing of people who owe you? Is it notes of people who owe you? I uh, registered them for the camp. Okay, okay. I thought you were writing things of who owe you. In the message, keke sa sa say who the a a a a a news put the who the a it me ma. Change you will see these two dollars. Instrumentals, they would hear instrumentals. Don't listen to preaching. Never. As if you are listening to music. I'm not a singer. What did I just say? You said we shouldn't listen to a message. A message. <laughs> As if we are listening to instrumentals. You are not. P- play I some music, baby. Play, baby. best, it will give you feelings. Does this tell you to go to school? Does this tell you to work hard? What is it doing to you? It just gives you a good feeling. It just gladdens you. Ezekiel 33 Verse 32. Ezekiel 33. King James. And lo. Okay. Mambi new living. <laughs> you are very entertaining. To them. Like someone who sings love songs. When he can. You are very entertaining to them. Like someone who sings love songs. With a beautiful voice. Or plays fine music on an instrument. They hear what you are preaching but they don't act. Now, 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 now. who are these? Bombay 31. Bombay 31. So my people come pretending to be sincere and sit. I'm working it. I'm doing some work. Can you see I'm working? Oh, I should sweat before you see I'm working. So my people come, many of you have come to this church pretending that you are interested in what says God as if you are going to do something. Son of man, 
your people talk about you in their houses. <laughs> Bible, you don't know Bible. Bibiyum, Jolofum, Bankum, Nyaduaum, Esitreum, Gobeum, Angwamum, Kenzo Kraum. Bibiyum, Kosiani Mekoum. Ancien American. Ancien American. Yes. I've heard it say now. Cosmec. Cosmec. Ancien American. The Bible. You don't know the word of God. That's why you are joking. Not with God's word, but with your life. Everything is inside. Son of man, your people, they are talking about you in their houses. <laughs> so when a pastor reads his Bible, he's calm. Because he knows that everything that is happening, he can predict. So most pastors are like prophets. Experienced pastors, they are like prophets. When everything is fine with you, he can tell you how your end will be. Ah, actually, it says it. Actually. The verse is saying it. I was just talking. But just remember that the verse is saying it. You watch it. Son of man, your people talk about you in their houses. And whisper about you at their doors. They say to each other, Come. Let's go hear the prophet. Tell us what the Lord is saying. Next verse. So, so, like how we have all come. My people come. Pretending to be sincere. There's a lot of hypocrisy in the church. Pretending to be sincere. I'm pleading. And they sit before you. You see that they are sitting there. But they are not normal. They listen to your words. But they have no intention of doing what you say. Their mouths, their mouths are full of lustful words. And their hearts seek only after money. They will take, they can sell you to get money. Yes. There is not even one English alphabet I have said today that I have not experienced. Some. When a pastor is preaching, you must stop him sometimes and ask the pastor, on what authority are you speaking? When John Wesley was preaching, they will stop him and ask him that on what on, on whose authority are you talking like that? Then he will say, I was ordained by the Archbishop of Canterbury. Then they will keep quiet. Because not everybody has a right to say some things. Not every pastor can talk. Even the way I preach, not every pastor can preach that way. No, no, no. Because where I'm coming from, they have not come from there. I said, there's not even one English alphabet I have read that I cannot give you names, places dates, time, and whether it was raining or the sun was out. But they have no intention of doing what you say. Their mouths are full of lustful words. And their hearts, the heart is just money. The decisions, the steps, the choices, the things, if you go deeper, if you drill just one inch deep, you only see money. But on the surface, it's a veneer of religiosity. It's a veneer of spirituality. It's a veneer, a thin lining. But one inch below, you see the intentions I just showed you. 
Am I preaching or I should stop preaching? Oh, but the pastor's wife says I should stop preaching. What should I say? Let's end the message. No, 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 no. Preach. Oh, she said I should preach. I, I thought you said stop preaching. Oh, you said I should keep preaching. Oh, oh, sorry. Because when the pastor's wife speaks, I'm a visitor. I, I don't. I'm not. Watch out for your intentions, my brother, my sister. That's why I told you. You know what I've just said there? Eh? I've been preaching for 30 years. I have never said this before till today. That you must never listen to a message or so far or bomb message. And TN is said with the instrumentals. Their mouths are full of lustful words and their hearts seek only after money. You are very entertaining to them. Like someone who sings love songs. But remember that earlier on, they themselves in their houses had called the man a prophet. Yes. But when the evil spirit, like the madman of Gadara, within him is a worshipping spirit and within him is also a demonic spirit. So hear them, the same people who are insulting the pastor are also acknowledging that he's, an, he's anointed. I said, if you remember, I don't know what your memory, if you remember, earlier on, they were calling him a prophet. Let's go and see the prophet. You are like, so he's there, look at it. Let's go and hear the prophet tell us what to do. But the same people, within them, there are some of them sitting there, within them, is also an attitude of minimalization and denigration. Yes. They minimalize it. They minimize it. And they denigrate it. When the pastor is speaking, they peter down his anointing. Yes. They peter down. Peter is an English word. It's not just a noun. It's a verb. Check the verb. They peter down the power. Because before they came, they had already minimized and denigrated the anointing that is upon them. What does it mean to peter down? To dwindle? To diminish? To come to an end. Yes. So before they come, by their attitude, they have already pitted down the power. Of Jesus, he had power. But he went to a place, he could not even heal anybody. He just laid hands on them, just went away. Yeah. There is an attitude that pitters down anointing. No matter how Jesus you are, you just be left to just take, 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 take. Then the next town, they line up dead bodies on the road and they are all waking up. Paralyzed, blind. The next town, I said, the next town, Otinibi. Otinibi. He's healing the sick. Only Oyibi. Frida sing, I am the Lord, and then let's close. You see the same man of God at Malajor. Because there's an attitude that peters down power. So you are to them an entertainer who sings love songs with a beautiful voice or plays fine music on an instrument. They hear what you say. Yes. You see them on the phone as if they are not listening but they are hearing everything you are saying. 
Because some of them are even texting the message to other people that listen to what they are saying about you. But you watch. Let's start it You are entertaining. You are like somebody who's seen. But when all these terrible things happen to them, as they certainly will, then they will know a prophet has been among them. But you know a problem with prophets? Do you know a problem with prophets? They are only healed outside. A prophet has honor, has respect, has power. Except the church and the church members, some of them are the people that he has even ministered to. There's the church. Follow me to town. Today I'm telling you, if you heard nothing, don't listen to a message as if you are listening to music. Why? Because, you see, it's what Isaiah prophesied in Isaiah 48. That's what made me say that. Go back to verse 18. Isaiah 48, verse 18. That's what made me say those things. Look at it right there. Oh, that they had listened to my music. I said to my music. Oh, that they had listened to my instrumentals. No. Anything you listen to should be a command. you will choose to diminish it from being a command to something very nice and interesting to, as I'm preaching now. Some people are just enjoying, hey, but this man, bro, what does he smoke? Is it Indian hemp or he uses hard ah, drugs? I just enjoy watching him. Pa. I mean, it's those days when we were in secondary school that these type of weed smokers were very well. But I've not seen a pastor who is always, always high. He's talking glue. Hey, me, I'm taking glue. You will be glued. <laughs> oh, I'm saying that never listen to God's word as if you are listening to music. Oh, that they had listened to my command. Then you would have had peace. Flowing like a gentle river. And righteousness rolling over you like waves in the sea. Verse 19. I'm ending. Your descendants, your children would have been like the sands along the seashore. Too many to count. There would have been no need for your destruction. Oh, that you are listened to my commands. There would have been no need for the condition you have plunged yourself in. Or for cutting off your family name. The Bible. If you are taking the preaching, not as music, but as commands, you wouldn't have been cut off from your family name. Because the church is a family. Yes, and based on your orientation towards authority, you can actually, the Bible, can you stand up and clap your hands for the Bible? Respect it. And celebrate it. Matasunama. You can sit down. They've just signaled. That I've got only three more minutes. Or oh, for cutting off your family name. Your descendants would have, your life would have been a lot bigger than this. If you had, li- you see, the title is that seeing and hearing guarantees you divine direction. Seeing and hearing. That's what verse 18 says.